Welcome back. I just got a new microphone, so let me know what you think, especially if you know a lot about audio. Uh, anyway, this video was originally going to be about just making sure that our, when we send our email, the from field would have a name and it would held a value. But I figured we're going to go ahead and expand on that and kind of look at the bits and pieces underneath. So that way, you know, in case you want to do more than just say, you know, the from field and just the fields that we have here. Let's go over to Wikipedia. You could add other header fields, for instance. You know, you could do a carbon copy field, or you could do a blind carbon copy. Um, anyway, back to the code. So we're still going to be using the send mail function, and we're going to be passing in, of course, our address, authentication from to, but also our, our message. Now, as you can read on the message parameter here, uh, the email uh, with its header, the header is going to be first, a blank line, and then the message body. So, and then it says uh, lines of message should be uh, CRLF, uh, carriage return, line feed. Uh, most people aren't old enough to know where that actually came from, but in the old school typewriters, uh, the carriage, the part that was typing actually would move over to the right. If you've seen like a Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny cartoon, they'd have to uh, push it back to the left and then they'd have to turn it to a new line. So and computer talking just says, hey, I'm in a line. Let's go ahead and take it back to the left side of the line and then let's go down a line. Um, anyway, so we're passing in this message here. We have our, you know, our header fields. We have our header values and then very importantly we have our return and new line uh, right here so we have our our header we have our empty line i could have just as easily just added it right in here but i wanted to really show that yes we purposely have a blank line here before we get to the message body and just looking back over here if you want to read up a little bit more about it on uh, Wikipedia has a good little section on email here. Of course, like it says, just like in the function, we have a header. Our, our email message is made into two parts. So we have our header and our body. And they're just like it said in the function, they're separated by a blank line. So, and of course, we have, we have our, you know, our header field name separated by our separator character, which is a semicolon, and then our header field body or or value so looking at that like I said we have our you know our header field semicolon is our separator and then we have our our header field uh, you know value uh, anyway uh, go ahead and play around with it add stuff in uh, you know have some fun so Oh, let's go ahead and send an email real quick. Yep. Check for sent email. So let's go take a look. Ah, there we go. As you can see in our from field, we now have our value that we put in over here to our header field uh, body or value is right there so anyway i hope this was helpful uh, sorry i should have had the from field working on from the previous example i should have had that in there but i hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it uh, please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one